So first things first, I gotta show you these Goodyear Endurance tires, excellent quality here. Also, these are equipped with the TST tire pressure system. So what that does is it can tell you the pressure, obviously, but it also tells you the temperature of the tires. And it'll alert you before you have an issue, and so you can get off the road quicker to go and deal with that and check, check out what's going on, which is excellent. Also, on any Rockwood that you get, you're gonna find the suspension system is all tire per tire. It's not gonna be bouncy on those rumble strips really really cool feature so when you're driving you're not going to have a lot of pogo action it's going to self-adjust and, and the tires on the other side are going to be by themselves in suspension which isn't which which is super helpful when you hit those bumps and bruises on the way rockwood roux comes with the elite series griddle awesome for outdoor cooking the gas hookups back here comes down this direction and it gives you the exterior tv mount with the coaxial jack and power right here so you can do all that you would do inside outside with some extra space let's see what david's got all right so the rockwood hitting us with the frameless windows obviously they look sharp cool thing about these they open from the top so they hinge out meaning if it's raining you get your awning in you're sitting inside you can't be outside because it's miserable outside these open up you still get wind through and it doesn't rain inside your rv that's good let's talk about these walls aluminum uh, framing inside these walls we got a picture of it right here i don't know if you can see this uh, kind of what it looks like. I got a better example right here. Boom, look at this. I cut this out of the other side. Don't go over there. I don't want them to see that I cut a hole in this RV. But this is what it looks like. This is the outside. This is the inside. This would be an example of the, uh, the aluminum frame on the inside. And this, of course, is your insulation. These things are very well made. I've seen it before. The guys here at RV Wholesalers love to bang on these things. And they have knocked uh, decorations off the wall inside. So let's go see if uh, anything's fallen. Another cool part about the exterior of this is the steps. They have this quick release on the bottom of these. So this is no longer a peg system. It's a lot quicker for you to get set up outside, which is excellent. You have the spring-loaded door here, so it automatically shuts. Makes it quicker. You don't have to worry about leaving it open. No bugs get inside, just like that. So one of the first things you'll notice when you walk into the Rockwood Rue is how much room there is once you have these beds laying out. This is a little over 21 feet long until you put these beds out and you get so much more room. Check this out. This is a good size bed in here. This is from my modeling days. <laughs> They're never modeling days. It's usually not this bright in here. These are fancy lights that we use just so you can see me. A little behind the scenes. Was I allowed to show that? It's okay, okay, good. Uh, but yeah, so nice, so much room. You got your bed that actually will break down into another bed. So you've got a bed here, a bed in the back, a bed on the side, and this can be a bed. You can fit a lot of people in this Rockwood Rue. I don't know why you'd want to fit that many people in. Tell your friends to get their own RV. If, it, if you've got two, four, six, eight people in this thing, somebody needs to get another RV. Send them to RV wholesalers. But uh, man, so roomy. Let's uh, head to the back and see what Duncan TM has back there. All right, something to know. All the storage. Let's just show you some of it. You got hanging storage, some more pantry space over there. Maybe that's where you put your shoes. Storage, 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 storage. And some more over here. This actually continues on behind the bathroom. Extra space down there for more storage. Beautiful. Storage up here. Extra netted space so you can put some of those things like your dirty socks. I don't know. We can put anything up there, but whatever you want. Okay, sometimes you got a big concern with, with campers like this where you have these pop outs. People ask a lot, is it too cold because there's less insulation? The answer is no. Two reasons. They have maximized the size of the heater and air conditioner so that it can push further out into this smaller unit. Also, crazy feature just learned about these are, beds are heated, heated beds underneath to counteract what could happen from the cold from less insulation, which is so smart. I'm gonna take a nap actually, so see you soon. All right, so I guess Duncan gets to sleep while I have to work. So I'll show you this uh, nice kitchen, decent sized kitchen for kind of a smaller vehicle. You got this. Uh, 
You got your three burner stove top here. These come off. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Those go right back on there for cleaning. Good size oven. And then your microwave. You got your Dometic refrigerator, freezer. The cool thing about this is you're off the grid, 190 watt solar panel uh, optional for the top. So you can keep things running even if you're not plugged in somewhere, i.e. your refrigerator. David hit the kitchen. We're going to talk tech for a second because I am the expert on that. We showed you earlier the Bluetooth speakers outside. Here's where you control all of that. It also has a CD player that runs two different zones. You can, you can actually um, switch which ones are on and off right here on this panel. Also, this is your plug-in for your HDMI that has already run to the television that you would put here. Another cool thing about this mount specifically is that whether you're on that bed or this bed or at the kitchen table, you can turn your TV either way 180 degrees. So a lot of movement in there that's helpful. And you also have the matching coax cable that we talked about outside as well. Step inside, right inside you have your control panel that does everything from lights to awnings retracting and you can also control all of that from the We Are V app, which is really cool. We've done that a few times. So something that stuck out to me in a big way on this Rue 183 is this amazing storage in the bathroom. Look at that. That's like a linen closet in your house. Lots of space here for your towels and all your toiletries. Excellent, excellent job there. And then the porcelain residential toilet. Very, very nice. Quality, detail, Rockwood crushes it. Yeah, and if that uh, linen closet's not enough, you also have some more storage up here over top of the sink behind this medicine cabinet, which is nice. So, oh, the light's a little edge too, so things don't slide around. All right, so I got David on the outside getting ready to show you how to do this quick setup and tear down of these hybrid beds. So I'll show you first set up you're pulling out this mattress and then you just take your pull put it on the end of this framing push it open and you got your sleeping area and the same in reverse once you take this off i'm just trying to show you how quickly you can transition here i can fold this underneath the bed section and then we'll show you from the inside what it looks like to close it in on the outside go ahead david so once the pole is out of there, I pull these in, push this up. It's really not heavy at all. Make sure this is tucked in. I believe it stays tucked in better on that side, on this one anyway. And then uh, snap this into place. Gonna make sure everything's tucked in there. That is it. This easy latch system. You got this latch down here, it's really nice. It's an easy latch system, grab it. And you're hooked up and ready to go. I didn't even break sweat. I'm gonna. I'm an easy sweater, and I didn't even break a sweat. And just like that, your bed's put away to be hauled. So also up here, you've got your double battery enclosed, your propane tanks, and that is pretty much it. I say that's pretty much it. That's the Rockwood Rue, but so much more that we didn't even go into. Just little details that Rockwood throws into their RVs. High, high quality. You cannot go wrong with a Rockwood Rue.